The Clifton 9 is Hoka's neutral daily trainer designed for everyday runs. And what sets it apart from other daily trainers is its super thick rocket midsole, which is designed to ease you through transitions. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run 80 kilometers in the Clifton 9, and this is my full review. Last year, the Clifton was Running Warehouse's number one running shoe in both the men's and the women's categories. And the reason this is such a popular shoe is because of its lightweight build and its chunky midsole which provides deep cushioning. There was no Clifton update last year, so the Clifton 9 is a complete revamp with a brand new upper, midsole and outsole. There are some big differences in ride compared to the Clifton 8. And for me, the most noticeable difference is that the bucket seat has been toned down, so there's no more poking arch sensation on the medial side. The midsole has also been changed to a softer and lighter version of compression molded EVA, and they've managed to cram in an extra three millimeters of foam into the midsole, and also making the shoe lighter at the same time. So the Clifton 9 rides softer than the Clifton 8, but is less versatile. The Clifton 9 is one of the softer daily trainers, so you can expect a squishier ride than the Ghost, the Pegasus, the Saucony Ride, and the Nova Blast. I enjoy the Clifton 9 for easy paces, slower than five minutes 30 per kilometer, and I feel that this new version has more long distance comfort than the Clifton 8. It has a similar outsole design to the Clifton 8, with diagonal flex grooves in the forefoot instead of horizontal ones, and this makes the forefoot feel more snappy. There's a decent amount of rubber coverage, so you can expect similar durability levels to the Clifton 8. And outsole traction is just average because the design is so flat. Hoka has an obsession with narrow toe boxes. And even in a half size bigger than my regular size, the Clifton 9 still gave me a black pinky toenail after my long run. So I recommend you getting the wide version even if you have normal width feet. It fits true to size in the wide version. The tongue has been changed and it's only attached on the one side. I think this is a good update because I didn't notice any tongue slide and it allows for more space in the midfoot. There's no heel slippage with or without a runner's knot and overall foot block down is excellent. The Hoka Clifton 9 will continue to be one of the best selling daily trainers. It's highly cushioned, it comes in at a decent weight and it's comfortable if you get the size right. Just don't expect a fun, bouncy ride because the Clifton 9 was designed to be a safe and predictable daily trainer. The Clifton 9 is an upgrade over the Clifton 8 and I recommend upgrading if you prefer a softer ride with more cushioning. Let us know what you think of the Clifton 9 down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.